Hi YouTube, it's Kathy and Joanne. Yay! We are currently on a books and beer tour. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Continuity errors. Yes. Your daughter can't talk. <laughs> what we're doing is traveling around the lower mainland of British Columbia and going to various breweries, brew pubs, as well as bookstores. Give you a quick rundown of kind of where we've gone. We've we've written out a list of the breweries we've gone to because we didn't want to miss anybody. And there were lots of them. <laughs> so we started off by leaving Vancouver Island, taking a ferry from Victoria to Vancouver, and in Vancouver our first stop was Fuggles and Warlock, which was fantastic, and I just love that brewery. After that we went to Main Street Brewery, which was it was okay. It, it had beer. <laughs> yeah, it had beer. Yeah. <laughs> and then Brass Egg Brewery was around the corner, and in between the two, we definitely had some donuts. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, those were good, too. They were pretty good. And then we went out to Fort Langley, uh, because we have family out there, and went to Trading Post, and they also did their own beers, which was pretty nice. Cool. That's the one where I had that, um, that breakfast oatmeal stout, or porter, or whatever it was, and it was pretty tasty, mm -hmm. gotta say. And then... You had something with uh, that Brett yeast. Where do we go next, Mom? Uh, <laughs> Clump, did we not? Yep, yep. yep. We went to BNA. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, it was that a nice little, one. it was a wee little tasting room. Yeah, yeah. We were the, the only people there for a little while. Yeah, that yeah. was good. Uh, after that, we went to Tree, which I've actually had abroad before but never had in BC which is super weird. The guy that did the batch I had in Scotland also makes the same batch here in BC so that was neat. After that we had flights and food at Freddy's Pub which was I think Kelowna's oldest brew pub I, I think their sign said. I think that they've been open for 16 years now. Mm -hmm. Right next to a bowling alley so their flights were in little uh, bowling pins. Yes. Uh, our next stop was in Penticton where we stopped at Bad Tattoo which was phenomenal and their pizza was really good. It was very good. Oh yeah, we split a pizza and split it down the middle so I had falafel and mom had Look Carolina beef. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, nice. Perfect. Ooh. Yes. We also stopped at the barley mill. They had the really cool glasses. Oh yeah, it was another pub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah another brew pub. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they had really tall, basically what looks like champagne flutes, but for beer. Five ounce pours. Yes, yeah. really, really good. And uh, dinner at the Kettle Valley Station pub, which was pretty good. I enjoyed the dinner, and yeah, they didn't have their own beers. They're not a brew pub, but they had beers from elsewhere, so we tried something new. Originally, we were only going to go to these three locations, and then we realized a lot of the Lower Mainland is kind of close together, and you might as well just visit as many places as possible. So we went on to Vernon and went to the Martin Brew Pub, as well as the Okanagan Spirits. In Oliver, we went to Fire Hall, and now we're in a Soyuz, and we tried to go to the Brew Pub, but it turns out <laughs> it's been closed. Yeah. for quite a while. Or it might not have opened too. It's, yeah, yeah it's we're not entirely <laughs> sure. They've been trying to get it open again and apparently they've been trying for a few years so it's yeah. not gonna happen. We are in the middle of wine country though so there are what is it 35 wineries or something like oh, within the immediate yeah, vicinity okay, or something yeah. like that yeah plus yeah um and then there's just distilleries everywhere and then we also tried a couple of cideries while we were waiting to get into our hotel room which is where we are now so we figured that if we can't go to the brew pub we might as well make a come drink with me and talk about our book and beer tour we went to festino which is delicious and i'm a sucker for any place that says we only have a couple of cases of something left and uh, they only had a couple cases of their apple cherry left, and we tried all the other flavors. They were pretty good too. We decided we had to pick this one up. And it's in a tiny little building just off the side of the road, and yeah. just, like there aren't even seats. There's just a little bit of a counter and like a small fridge behind the counter and some glasses, and that's it. And it's it's pretty cute. I liked it. Also tiny was where we got this stuff. Um, this is from Orchard Hill Estate. It's their red roof. Uh, yeah, red roof apple cider. And uh, yeah, it's pretty tasty. It's another little, it's a tiny little fruit market. And on the side of it, you had to go through a gate, which is where just cider, just yep. four packs of cider or bottles of cider. And that's everything that was through the gate. And you could go up to the counter on this side of the gate and get a sample and they pour it for you fresh and take a glass out of the freezer. It was very nice, but it's in the side of this little fruit market, which was pretty cool. So we're having fun. Somebody's going to the bathroom. <laughs> I can hear yeah, it. Are you sure? <laughs> 
Also along the way, we decided to go to as many bookstores as we could hit up, and we got quite a few books. It looks like we're actually even at this point in the trip, which is nice, 15 and 15. So what we thought we would do is move all of this precious alcohol that we're using as a backdrop so we don't knock it over because we're clumsy, and just do a rapid fire of what the book is and who the author is, and uh, just to let you know what we got. So we're going to have a sip of this. All right, age before beauty. Joy Fielding. I love her. <laughs> I got a Karen Slaughter. I tried one recently and really liked it. This one's called Fallen. Sue Grafton. I love her series. Uh, Patrick Rothfuss, because my book club is like, how have you not read this yet? And I'm like, I just haven't gotten around to it. In the Name of the Wind, the first one in the series. Sue Grafton again. <laughs> yeah. Also, I just had to pick up the second one because apparently as soon as you get through this one, you're going to want to read the second one and then you're going to be as mad as everybody else that the third one isn't out yet. Another joy fielding. I should have put those two together. Yeah. Uh, another one that my book club has been trolling me about not reading it, and I'm pretty sure I read this. They kept telling me that it hadn't come out until like quite recently, but it came out in 2003, and I'm pretty sure I've read Oryx and Greg again, but I can read it again for two dollars. That's fine. Dean Koontz. I just love him. Uh, there's so many. I mean, he's <laughs> yeah. got tons. He's got tons. Oh yeah, he's definitely got tons. <laughs> I'm currently reading this one by Cory Doctorow. Uh, someone comes to town, someone leaves town, and I just started, but I'm finding it really interesting so far. I started the Odd series quite a while ago and found some more, so I'm going to continue. And <laughs> actually, I'll just keep going with it. Yeah, an because... Odd series, Odd series, oh, Odd that series. <laughs> All right. I picked up The Killing by David Hawson, and I think that this was the inspiration for a TV show of the same name that takes place in Seattle. Because when reading the back, I'm like, yeah, this sounds pretty much like the plot of the TV show, except for Sweden. So I'm excited to read where that came from, because I really liked the show. Another Dean Koontz. <laughs> yeah, different series. I also picked up Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, and I read it in less than 24 hours. I've already read it on this trip, so I definitely enjoyed this one. Uh, Lisa Scottline. That's why you suck to your name. Uh, David Sedaris, Naked. I've read one of his books before for my book club, so I figured I'd try him again to see if I really like his style or if I'm just kind of on the fence, because that was kind of the feeling with a lot of people at the book club. Tammy, I believe it's Hogue. I read many of hers and enjoy her. I picked up The Pluto Files by Neil deGrasse Tyson, the only person in the world that gets trolled by third graders on a regular basis. John Kellerman and Jess Kellerman, I guess that's his son. Mm -hmm. I picked up The Handmaid's Tale because, again, I haven't read enough Atwood at this point, so I'm looking forward to that one. My last two are, are both Iris Johansson. Mm -hmm. I enjoy her too. We went to this bookstore called The Creative Bookworm in Langley, and there was this car show happening outside, so we just kind of walked around the car show until the bookstore opened. But we went into the bookstore and it had seven different little rooms for different genres, which was super exciting, and I found this one, Six Suspects, which is kind of like a mystery type of thing in one of the rooms, so I'm really excited for that one. I think it's Lex from Word Maiden told me to read Burial Rights, and I put it on my very long list of books to read, and I actually found a copy, so I was like, perfect, I'll pick it up now. I read the first in this series by Joe Rowling, aka Robert Galbraith, and I figured I might as well pick it up and see if I actually like the characters anymore the second time around. The word exchange is kind of like a futuristic type of thing, and it, it just really spoke to me with the whole, you know, getting rid of things like the written word and only having it in digital format. And I'm like, I work in a library, hopefully that never happens. Also, I, I had to pick up this biography of Stan Lee, which of course is in comic book format, because how would you do anything else Stan Lee related? And the last one I picked up so far is In the Unlikely Event by Judy Bloom because this is her last book. I think I read some of her books as a kid, but like really, really young kid. Like mom knows I read them, yeah. but I don't remember them because it was yeah. before the age of 10 and I don't remember anything before the age of 10. We made a mess of our set, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Race you. Let's stack them back up. <laughs> no more big no time at all because mine are already stacked. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> ah, you win. Beat <laughs> Trying to get mine in a tower that's not going to fall over. <laughs> Editing Kathy here. Mom forgot that she bought a book from the Oliver Library that has J.D. Robb and Nora Roberts as the co-authors, as though people didn't know that that's the same person. I'm going to show you a photo of the back of the book here because it's hilarious. So, favorite part of the trip so far? There is no favorite, really. Yeah. I've enjoyed every bit. Yeah. Very good about it. It's good. Yeah, we're having fun. Yeah, we're definitely having fun. 
it's it's interesting to wake up day after day and sample 14 different beers in some <laughs> cases. I think that was my count from yesterday. Although yeah. that included having a sip of a two-day-old bottle of beer that had been in the fridge. So whether or not that counts as a sample, who knows? I'm pretty sure I still put it on untapped, though. All right, we just wanted to give you this uh, update about our awesome trip. We're probably going back to Vancouver tomorrow. We'll see. Yeah, so we'll find out. We're going to head back west tomorrow in any case. I don't know how to talk to a camera. <laughs> You've done it more than I have. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much the point that we're at. Yeah, the doobly doos are on the boat. <laughs> Mom knows what the doobly doo is, sort of. <laughs> How about in the comments, let us know about any adventures you've had recently or any adventures that you're looking forward to on the way down in the comments. If you hit that like or subscribe button, that's always very nice of you. You can share this as you see fit, and I will see you next time, and we are going to have some more of that booze that was just on this table. <laughs> Cheers. Bye. Bye. <laughs>